Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and let's play Final Fantasy Legend 3, Ship of Space Time. And I lost focus. There we go. Here we are, Arthur, in the hot springs. Ah. And as the lady said, there's a secret passage right here. And we're in the river. And let's go up the waterfall. Because the only place we can go. Ooh, magic shot. You found me! Tell me about the future. Unless the water from the water entity is stopped, the world will perish. And that's not really telling me about the future. And here we have magics we don't quite need yet. Sheesh, lady. You think it would be a little bit more pertinent. And if you notice, my sprites are now blue because... I did a little grace changing with the other characters. I made Curtis into a cyborg and Gloria into a monster. And so let's change to Cyborg Headless, which is uh, the final species of this uh, cyborg is called Dullahan, which you might have heard from other Final Fantasy games. So it's that Headless Horseman type character. And let's go shopping, yay! And talk to the remainder of the NCPs. And here's the weapon shop. Crozier, Broad, Scion, and Napalm. I neglected to mention that unlike other Saga games, weapons here have infinite uses, a big improvement. The exception here are ordinances like Napalm here. So it includes grenades, uh, grenades and bombs. You can buy nine of those and use them up with your weapons. Let's see. The magical stones will make the 16 lost magic. Lost magic is your ultimate magic in the game, which is why it's lost, because it was, you know, too powerful. And here, bronze equipment and the bell. In the original game, it's called plume. It protects against sleep. Not useful at this point in the game. And items. And here we go uh, more examples of the bottling and the translation patch. Here, Para, or known as um, Relax, cures confusion. Jolt, known as Awake in the other game, is for sleep. And Mallet, known as, uh, I think, Calm in the other, is for confusion. Basically, the guy's doing Mallet as in Yang's frying pan of love uh, from the previous games. You know, get a hit on the head and you're okay. And these are more useful as in the other games because you have access to an item menu in battle. So it's good to, you know, equip them later on. And here we have the defense pill and the speed pill, which I will explain later on. Dun, dun. Love the town music. And the last girl. Granny founded this town. She's in the magic shop. And we did find her. According to the manual, Granny's like 300 years old. And I guess I'll do a little bit on Beasts and Cyborgs. Here we have the skill, which is called Talent in the original game, and now we have examples of it here. You know, so we have Upper Stab, Riddle, and uh, Weakness to Earth, and Glory has Tusk Poison, Immunity to Poison, and Weakness to Ice. And, uh, let's see, Flying Nimbus! Dee 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 dee. Ooh, a sea hag. No, why don't you perish? And I will explain the races now, because now's the appropriate time. Starting with monsters, just like in the other games, monsters have constant stats, and they can only use their skills. So Gloria is permanently set into her current form now and she can only use her talents. She's still able to equip uh, items but they don't change her stats or anything like that. And she's still able to, to use her magic which is um, sometimes useful but you know it's not uh, delimited. Sometimes it's advantage to change to a monster for more mana. And then moving from monster closer to the other side is beast. Half human half monster. Their stats are a combination of the monster um, characters in the game here and whatever your character stats are. 
So we get a nice little hybridization. Uh, beasts also have their own talents. They can use magic and they can equip items and stats and uh, I mean uh, armor and they get statistics from them as well. Yay! Not too hard. And beasts are proficient in martial arts so when we actually see some like kick and X kick you know that's what you equip on them. Rather nice. And let's go to the Talon. Hold on. What? I'm worried about this city. I'll go help Elder. We'll miss you, Myron, but we know the city's in good hands now. Good luck. You too. Gambare! And let's uh, walk around the town a little bit. Here we have the console and little spacious area. You know, it's basically the great ship from Final Fantasy 3 or the big whale from Final Fantasy 4. Got little counters and um, tables. And down here we have the engine room with the little turbines and blackness here. When we get the engines, you'll, they'll pop up. And same thing with other units. Once we get them, they'll show up in the town. Right now, all we have is passed. Let's see, attached to the town. And let's take a look. Depart is for flying. Engine, we get to set the engine, which we don't have. Weapon is, uh, okay, we have a uh, cannon from the start. And option are miscellaneous units. So let's warp on out of here and do the ultimate. Space time, rewind. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, no, no. I always mess up doors like that. Whee! Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Everything's all nice and fresh now. And the water's clear. So this must be the past. Let's see. Yep, and now in the past. Two units in this area. Why don't we go visit Darm? Oh, old man. Are you looking for something? Yeah, we're looking for units of the Talon. And you? I'm looking for a place to build a new town. How about east of the palace? Oh, thank you. Come and see my town when you pass by. I'll name it Darm. Okay... That must be our elder. And all I can say is eat your heart out Chrono Trigger because we have something better than the Grandfather Paradox. We have a Predestination Paradox, which is the opposite. Grandfather Paradox is basically you go back in time, you change past, and the present is affected. Hence, you know, Marl disappearing. Here we have a Predestination Paradox, which is... Because of... Well, let me put it this way. Um... Oh wait, that's right, I can't use skills. Skills... And, um... Right at the beginning of the game, Elder, when we talked to him in the town, said, People in the past are seeking units, because 15 years ago, someone was bothering me for those units. And now we go into the past and turned out we just asked the Elder that we're looking for units. So at the very first episode, it turns out we were the guys asking for the units. Um, the Elder was thinking um, we might be bad guys looking for them. So that event would so that summarizes the predestination paradox. It's basically events that uh, can't exist unless you have time travel to begin with. And Gloria died because I wasn't paying attention to battle. But like the other games, you know... Oh wait, I think death is permanent. So, that's not too bad. We can just uh, go to an inn and fix her up. Sheesh, everything's bad. I oh, want well, more hit points for everyone else. Yay! Receive Crozier. Yeah, everyone's okay. So, I think I'll call this a video. So until next time, I'm Tiro, and have fun gaming. See ya!